Hey guys, Glenn here. I'm here with another video. Just um just a continuation onto my life story. So like part four or five. I can't remember. I've made too many. But definitely the most important part so far, like not in line, it's me meeting my girlfriend Daisy. I'm just gonna kinda talk about like how it went down, like it kind of took a while for us to really like we were good friends and then we actually like started talking and then it was like yep I like this girl she's she's amazing so anyway we'll get to the story so I went to my French church the one day and uh, and so or youth group so like on a Wednesday and I remember I saw her for the first time and I was like oh hey what's up and, uh, probably introduced herself I don't know it was a while ago but I remember meeting her and um, so she seemed cool uh, so that's really all I have there like then we got to skip like forward this was like May March April May I think it was March or April because I remember I started going but anyway um so I went there and then we'll just skip forward like months and months and months but uh so it was it was in the winter and there's this thing called winter jam so obviously it was in the winter and uh it was sunday night and so it was like this concert there's like tons of like bands and stuff and we all went to see it like the youth group and so we were all just having a good old time and like singing and stuff my friend tyler was there and it was funny we ate nachos i remember it was but whatever and so after um after the like whole concert thing we were it was at like a basketball stadium so like you know you know how like the bleachers are they go down like that and you can just go out i don't know but um so we were uh we were um going down i'm saying um a lot sorry so we went down and we all like got in this like place and we all met up and we're like hey it's everyone here we're getting ready to go and we had like a like a van so after we like you know we were counting we were counting each other we're like wait a minute we're missing daisy and so like we don't even know where she went she was like walking with us at one point and the next point she was just gone we're like what the heck so she didn't have a phone at the time so it was awful because she was just lost and didn't have a phone so we're like we really have no way of getting her but uh she had like an ipod or okay she had an iphone but it wasn't like no service or something i don't know how to describe it, but she was using the wi-fi so she started uh texting people from instagram like asking hey where are you so we were all like relieved like oh my gosh okay she's still alive like for some reason we just immediately assumed that oh she kicked the bucket she's gone so we we're just like okay she's still alive so we all wanted to like be like okay let's go look for her but then we we're also disagreeing like no we're not gonna do that because um you know we're gonna end up getting lost and she's gonna make the process worse but i think we all ended up going looking for her anyway so anyway we finally found her and that was just a funny night because she just went missing and we all just like freaked out and we don't know how she went missing because she was like directly behind us but uh definitely a scary night like hands down scary night but uh later that night we were driving home in the van and uh i remember i would um i had my ipod at the time did i have an iphone or an iphone no i don't think i had an iphone did i i can't remember but anyway so i remember there was flash and so i held my camera because i was in the front of like the the van and there's like three rows of seats and one of the funniest things like pictures we ever took and like we still talk about it today and it's really funny is like i held it up i took a picture and had the flash on and she was just like resting her head to the side or something and like her eyes were open and it just looked like she was straight up dead like she was a zombie or she was about to become a zombie but she was just dead at that point and it was just a really funny picture and we still talk about it like I'll have to find that picture it's it's pretty funny like everyone else is just like they got so mad because like it was in the middle of the night at like 11 o'clock and they were trying to sleep in the van and i just giant flash came on and i got everyone so it was a good night
really liked it. Um, so after that, there was a, um, I don't know, skipping to the next part. I remember uh, we were at this thing called SVR, and it was also with my church because, you know, we met each other at church and just became good friends. And so I remember we were, uh, <laughs> I was I was outside in shorts, and she was just like, why are you in shorts? You're crazy. Like, I don't. I never wear sh uh, pants in the winter. That sounds weird. I always wear shorts. Um, <laughs> but uh, you know, that was just my thing. And then I remember uh, it was me and Tyler, and we were eating fried chicken with forks. And like, <laughs> and then two girls, her and uh, I think it was Alexis or Josie. I don't know. But anyway, it was funny because. The guys, we were eating our chicken with forks, and they were just like tearing into it, like without any like eating utensils. Or, and I was like, "Wow, this is like the complete opposite." And so, long story short, put the fork down, and I just started eating like they were. So that was that story, you know. Just uh, yeah, just that section, the first like winter. Um, I'm gonna break this video into two parts. So, catch you guys later.